Hey, how are you doing? We're back with uh, Hot Beats. My name is Gavin Eckhart, and today we're going to do a little uh, look into the different types of delays you can use, generally in a vocal specific setting, um, but you could probably use them on anything. I've got a great song here by Nancy G on top of the world uh, and it's uh, got quite a lot of delays going on in subtle variations all over the place. Uh, the first one I'd like to show you is this great one, Little Echo Boys. Uh, I set it to time. It's uh, 300 and uh, 299 so it's got a little bit of that slappy vibe. Um, chuck it in on these answer response. On so that's off. This is on. So it's just like a really nice, full, thick uh, delay for a hook. That's one way of implementing a delay. Again, that's not really the lead vocal. It's more of a backing in the background. Uh, and I put a load of delay on just to give it some perspective. So you can hear it's really just a little answer. Okay, the other kind of delays I've got going on here are on sends. That happens to be on an insert on a little subgroup. I'm using this PSP Echo, which is one of my favorite vocal delays for one reason, which is it's got a DACA. Now, a DACA is basically a side chain input that uh, compresses the delay level uh, when the input exceeds a certain threshold. So it's basically like turning the delay down when the dry signal is hot or loud. So this is really cool. Uh, let's see where it kicks in here. And it's kind of set to quarter notes. You can set it to BPM and to sync and it's set to quarter notes there. And you're just popping out and as the dry, because I'm just soloing the delay, so we're not hearing the, the, the dry. <laughs> But it's a really good way of just using a quarter note delay across the whole mix without having to do too much automation. Um, as you can see, it's just on a send there. Uh, although I've got a bit of automation here. Uh, the ducking really, for me, helps to... Not get in the way. So you probably see here where there's a bit of a gap. Yeah. Anyway, really like this delay. It works really hard in my projects. You'll probably find one in most of mine. The other kind of delay I'm using today is a kind of a slap delay, which is a really nice way of getting some uh, depth and uh, presence. I've got a bit of this UAD 201, which is like the hardware unit I've got up here. Uh, except this one syncs, so this is on a dotted 32nd, uh, which is kind of an odd meter to be on but it's just use it set it by ear get your sense of what it's going to be at just a bit of slap you know let's see if we can hear it in context i'll switch these other guys off in your eyes we wait up Forget what you heard, never gave up. Now we on top of the world. So you can hear there just on the single voice that without it. Raise your glasses up to the ceiling. Just sounds to the music dry, dry and lifeless. Because we're alive and I see the future. And it just, in your I know, it just livens things up a bit, gives it a bit of life. This is the guy, the Cooper Time Cube, and it's modeled on a delay that has a hose pipe. We all love hose pipes. So. The Cooper Time Cube gives me a really nice slap. You can see there's a 16 and a 14 millisecond delay, left and right, hard panned, left and right. Very no feedback, hard panned, echo volume up. Uh, wet solo means there's no dry signal, it's running on a send. And if, beg your pardon, we just solo that out, uh, you'll hear that it's a really nice stereo slap. So it's almost a flange. I've got it on the steel drums there as well, just to make them pop. And what I really like about these kind of uh, short stereo slaps is it gives you a great stereo image. So that's without it. It's almost a chorus effect. Um, but to me, a really useful tool in the delay arsenal. 
I would suggest trying stereo slaps, mono slaps, quarter note delays with duckers on if you want to get a bit more uh, life into your mixes. Enjoy, guys. Yeah.